Holmes. Me. Bloodlust and back you. Where is Siegfried and Toga? Ah, battle must be near. The crow has come for the feast. You have a clever tongue, friend. But tomorrow we all speak in a language older than words. Fate already knows who lives and who dies. Again, I ask. Where are the others? <sighs> Fetching more catapults for tomorrow's attack. You can wait. I shall wait. Somewhere else. It is the only time I am alive. Far from home, before another city of strangers. When did our lives become a saga, Sunin? Yes, I know the day, the very day when mother and father died. Count Odo will not hear reason. Charles plays games. I cannot trust the lives of my people with such men. The Queen now. She I could trust, but she lacks power. My place is here. A secret and Toga. Come with me. Eivor, you return. That means all is ready, and we cannot turn back now. Why do you worry? You will collect more swords. I know how to fight other warriors on the field of battle. This is a city. There will be flames. It matters not. Tomorrow we will fight as warriors, not ruthless killers. This I swear upon my honor. Ah, Eivor the Talker. And to whom have you so freely given your word about how my battle goes? I said it. The guards heard it. That is enough. And if I say we burn this city to ashes and feed the crows with children, what say you? If you truly would say such a thing, who am I to heed your words? But I thought you a better man than this. Ha ha ha! Good! Good! Keep that fire burning through the night. It shall kindle our vengeance at the break of dawn. Time to go lie on my furs. How do you do that, Eivor? Sleep before a battle, I mean. Easy. I remember my mother's murder, each moment. Second, I recall every word the old father ever said to me. And finally, I think upon this war-filled world, and of the next, the whole of endless wonder. Only then do I rest. Take that city, and sack it, and burn it to the ground! 
And tonight, friends, we shall feast in Odo's palace, or in Odin's hall, with the choosers of the slain. Now is the time of honor, the hour of our glory! Day of vengeance! Shields! the king of glory? The Lord is strong and mighty in battle. He trains my hands for war, so that my arms may hold this cross of gold. I shall not yield! Brave Sif, bring the gift of victory. Odin, lend me your helm of art. Vida, feed my need for vengeance of Vanir. Oasir, crush these walls. I am the gate of Paris! Fate favors the brave. Now what, Siegfried? Rush the palace gates! We'll bring the whole place crashing down on Odo's skull! To the palace! Fire and vengeance! Faster! Faster! Catch them off guard! This place is heavily guarded.
the Yithron is here. He's dead. They are all Norse. Where are those Frankish dogs? The silence gnaws my guts. Shields up and close ranks! Too many! Secret! We must retreat! Fall back, warriors! Fall back! Die, you evening! Thanks! Enough! Cutting us down. Fall back! Fall back! Damn the gods! I walked right into Odo's trap like a yearling elk. Do not lose heart, Siegfried. Battle is a fickle goddess. Uncle, it is worse. The scouts report that warrior priests. Uh, Does that? Yes, he rallies a large force of Franks in the east, in that church. Damn the gods. They will crush us out in the open. What do we do? Our catapults could hit that church, but they have no way to aim. We should light signal fires on the towers. That will give the catapults something to target. Yes, do it. I will get the wounded out and alert the catapults before rejoining you. Good. And I will take down this warrior priest Goslan before he rallies the Franks. Favor, keep up! We must light those towers! Gates are down! Charge!
kill you! I will break you! Remember you, the silent jester from the tavern. You have earned my eternal gratitude. I assume you seek the war priest, Goslin? Please, take the church key. It's brought me only trouble. Thanks. It seems you found your tongue after all. Join your nailed god in death, as you served him in life. Mama, I'm scared. Clear the hall! Hush, child. Shh, hush. Come, Eivor. The fighting still rages through the streets. We need your strength. How does this end, Toka? Killing everyone? It is as I feared. The bloodlust is upon him. He will slaughter the whole city. If I can reach Count Odo, I can make him surrender to stop this madness. Siegfried's warriors have surrounded the gates to Odo's palace. With Goslan dead, the streets are ours. We are moving the catapults to batter the palace gates down. There must be another way, over, under, or around those walls. Nolwen once spoke of a tunnel in the southwest. One way or another, I will get in. Makla, I last saw you in the tunnels. That was before your army started the burning and pillaging. This slaughter is not my doing. I mean to end this. You have not won yet. Charles is marching toward Paris with his heavy horse. Gods, his army comes. Well, this, they are close and riding hard. All the more reason I must hurry and end this thing. I need a hidden way into Odo's palace. I know a way. 
But there is a band of Frankish warriors milling about. Show me. Upon my honor, I give you my word that Toker and I, we do not want this. Fine. I will lead the way. I should be cautious around here. I will chase them off. We will die if we don't get into all... like Norman. Smuggled for both sides. inside Odo's palace.
I've lost the scent. from your cell whatever you are doing stop Moshe is coming and and he'll lock you up with him after reading that note. Now that I'm inside the palace, I need to find someone to point me toward Odo. Chief Jailer, so if I say hurry up and board those walls, you hurry up and board those walls! Oh, my lady, why the Count will not attend to you, I will never know. The mother of his children, to think it's so stubborn at Odo, and that perfect... Pardon me, is that food for Count Odo? No, this is for Lady Theodorat, his wife. She lies at death's door. And who are you in such garb? A healer, from Frisia. What happened to the lady? While helping wounded soldiers off the walls, she took an arrow in the belly. Persuade that worthless priest, Walter, to give her the last rites, if you can. He's just upstairs. I will see what I can do. Thank you. Oh, my lady. Why the Count will not attend to you, I will never know. The mother of his children. To think it's so stubborn at Odo. And that pathetic Walter du Sens. Too drunk to give last rites. A travesty, that one is.
Bob's bedroom. If his wife is inside, she might know where he is. Maybe for a high feast. Could come in handy. Did I a joking? Pardon me, father. Where is Count Odo? Oh, Odo? His foolish pride will kill us all. Yes, but where is he? Who are you again? No, I can tell you nothing without more wine. Ah, my memory has gone all hazy. Here's your wine. Now do you remember where is Count Odo? Wine? Ah, sweet, precious wine. The water of life, the blood of Christ, the fiery flame of the world. Red wine, nothing more. You may have it. Oh, heaven hears my prayer. Now, I can die. Uh, before you do, where is Count Odo? Although, I do not know. But his wife lies wounded in her master bedroom. She may have answers. On the second story, along the main hall. Here, take the key. I lock the door. Thanks. I should head to Odo's bedroom.
Is that you, Odo, my love? No. You're too tall. Are you the priest? The light has grown dim. I see nothing but shapes. Father, will you hear my confession? Ah, oh, yes. I am the priest, your lady Ness. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. In my own pride, I went to battle without armor. Thinking God would be my shield, and now I'm dying, and I will never see my sweet children again. Where are they, Father? Are they safe? They uh, are safe with that good man, Walter de Saint. Do not fear. Thank you. But, Father, please, will you carry a message from a dying woman to her beloved husband? I will, my dear. What should I tell Count Odo? That he is a good man. That he must live for our children's sake. For Paris. For Francia. He must not die for a mad king. I promise I will do this, good lady. Where may I find your husband? <laughs> Odo remains locked in his sanctum. His sanctum? Up the landing and across the hall. My husband still hopes Charles will ride forth and save the city. Locked in, you said. There is a key in the bureau. Take it. Help my husband a any way you can. Creeps upon me now, but slow and quiet, like a shadow at day's end. Eyelids so heavy. Mother, where are you? Farewell, good lady. Deaths, my lord. Your lady wife lies dying. Go to her. Your duty as a husband. My duty is here. When Charles and his army arrive, we will join the attack. We will crush the heathens between the hammer of Charles and the anvil of Paris. <gasps> Leave, Walter. Go comfort my wife as best you can. God, it seems, has chosen a different fate for me. The priest is right. Lay down your arms. Save your city. Among the North, is not death in battle the best way to die? Come, share a glass of wine with a doomed man. I have heard many a warrior cry out for their mothers as their life's blood feeds the ground. I no longer can say if this is the best way to die. Your wife's wound is severe, an arrow to the gut. I saw her. I fear she won't last the night. And I won't last the next quarter of an hour. She's said to be strong for your children. 
Do not throw away your life for a mad king. Look at these works of stained glass. Delicate. Priceless. Evro's artisans spend years crafting each piece. Wondrous works, I grant you that. We brought them here for safekeeping. In the hopes that your invading horde won't smash them to pieces. You tell me to surrender my city? Abandon my honor? You tell me to live out my days as Siegfried's prisoner? What would you do? I would fight, and someday I will die with steel in my hand. As I know, it is my doom. But today is not that day. And if I put you on your back, bleeding out and crying for your mother? My mother is already dead. Come, Norma! Come back! Do not make me slay you! Honor the man! Go! Lend me your light! Fine blade for a fine warrior. You fought well, Count Odo. But not well enough. <clears throat> Give me a quick death. Do not make a spectacle of my defeat. Those are not Siegfried's horns. Shar and his army! He arrives in time to save the city. They do not fight. I see a flag of truce. Siegfried and Charles would hold parley. I must be there. My voice must be heard. As should I. But I am your prisoner. Then I release you on your honor. And trust you to keep our truce. Thank you, Eivor. I shall. Lord Siegfried, I offer a gift of silver as a token of the love and friendship between us. Let us have peace. Silver for a truce. Not a truce, but a lasting bond. I name you my Lord of Rouen, and you bend the knee to your king. I do not kneel to wooden gods, let alone living men. But no matter, let me take counsel. Eivor, thank the gods you live. As to you, good. I made it inside the palace. Odo would have surrendered the city, but... But Charles showed up with his mighty flag of truce. Aye. And you? After we split up, I took my thanes and secured the bastard prince. He's nearby, safe. Eivor! <laughs> the gods do favor the brave. The lucky and the brave. So it is said. And Charles, he offers us a hoard of silver. Ah, indeed. And all we have to do is sail away. He brings enough treasure to make every Warthane here wealthy beyond dreams. For those who lived. Gambling our lives for silver, that is our way. Now, do we take his offer? By luck, he's bloody balls, yes. And call him king if it makes the old troll happy.
Your battle secret, your choice. I'm here to forge my own truce with Charles. You earned your share of the wealth all the same. Never fear, Eivor. Charles must put his kingdom back together. He cannot attack England after today. Charles, we take your gift, and in return we give you peace. Siegfried. This man, Siegfried, swears to be my loyal friend and protect our lands in Amiens and Rouen. Gosler, Abel, and my wife died defending Paris from these river pirates. And now, you offer them the very silver we paid you to defend us. Are you mad? Wait. We know you are. Let me ask instead. Are you a coward or a fool? Siegfried swears to protect our lands in the north. If you surrender my birthright, you are no king of mine. Count Odo, I bested you in battle and spared your life. Honor the terms of our truce. This heathen knows more about honor than my king. Today has been a good day, but I tire of long speeches. We will take our silver and go. You Franks may stay and pursue your own quarrels. Wait. A final matter. Eivor of England, bring forth my son, Prince Bernard. I cannot hand over the boy to one such as you. He's free to go where he wills. You dare defy me? Do you want battle, King? I will take your silver and your balls. Do not wreck our truce over one small boy. Bernard is not any boy. He is my only son and heir. What? Have you forgotten how to make another? This is not over. Eivor of England. Ah, we have won a great victory and a great treasure. Come, we feast. Tomorrow, the Franks will bury their dead, thanking their god that they yet live. And they should, for Paris was merely kissed this time. Should we breach those walls again, we will bare our teeth and bite. And should Charles judge it wise to draw swords against us again, let him remember the glint of our axe blades. Let him remember the red mist on the air, the taste of iron. Enjoy the feast all! A purse full of silver to any who can drink more ale than I! Skull! What is this? Racing against pigs? <laughs> yes! What is more amusing than watching drunken men race against pigs? 
<laughs> We've done worse things to entertain ourselves. Would you like to try, Eivor? There is a small price for the winner. Or are you not fast enough? Explain the race to me. Run along the lead pathway as fast as that old swine, Hermod. The first to do two laps wins. Where do I start? <laughs> Good sport, Eivor. You will start here. Run when the pig starts running. To raise the stakes and fun, I will join you too. Ready? You are fast, Eivor, but I will catch up soon enough. <laughs> Try. Another victory for my saga. Seems your legs were blessed. Uh, no matter the winner, the joy was in the doing. Indeed. And we sure slice open Frankia's belly this time, eh? Now to feast on her entrails. The winnings are worthy of a serpent's lair. And the roads glisten from the dew of slaughter. Yes. Though, one wonders if such butchery was needed. No lessons today, Eivor. I doubt I will remember them. Maybe you should put down that ale prow for a time. Without doubt. But that time has not yet come. <laughs> you are hopeless. That is clear. I took a handsome sword to meet the fighting. Have it. A keepsake to remember this day by. You honor me. I will cherish the blade. By the way, I was glad you did not turn over Bernard. I miss Sinric, but a father like Charles is worse than no father at all. I could not doom the boy. It is not a price I think my clan would have me pay for their safety. <laughs> <laughs> 